Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a kind of a spring pinky purple makeup look. So I've gone with purpley vibrant eyes and I've gone for a very bold and bright kind of fuchsia pink lip. This is all new makeup that I really wanted to try so I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero palette on my eyes as well as on my face. I'm using the Tulip Liquid Lipstick. I'm using some new Colourpop eyeshadows as well. So I just wanted to try and do like a nice spring makeup look with a bunch of new products that i just recently showed you guys in a haul so i hope you guys enjoy this video like comment subscribe and i will see you all soon bye hello everybody so i've already done my foundation and my eyebrows everything of which i will list below i'm using the shade outer luck by colourpop cosmetics and i am setting my primer which i already applied on my lids um, with this eyeshadow I always tend to set my primer so that it gets rid of any stickiness and then I am using the shade Say I Do and I am going backwards and forwards in the crease with a Morphe M330 brush this is a really nice soft pale pink shade and you just have to build it up so that the colour shows up a little bit more it works really well as like a transitional shade Next, I'm using the shade Dreamboat, which is like a really soft pinky mauve shade, uh, mauve shade, not shave. <laughs> and I'm going into the lower crease with a Zoeva 228 crease brush. This is a more kind of tapered brush so that it sits really nicely directly into the crease. So just blend that backwards and forwards so that you are making the pink a little bit more intense. Then go back in with the same Morphe brush just to blend out any harsh lines. And then I'm using the shade 143, which is an awesome shade. Look at that, I'm so impressed. Can't remember the name of this brush, but it's just a dense tapered brush, which is quite fat at the end, so it fits really nicely into the outer V. And I am slowly building up this shade because it is quite intense, and I'm keeping it to the outer V area because I don't want to smoke it out too much because as a pink, sort of like a hot pink shade, it can look a little bit odd if you apply a little bit too much so just keep blending it backwards and forwards for the brow burn i'm using the shade of forever lit from the anastasia beverly hills nicole guerrero palette i'm using a very small brush to really highlight my brow bone especially the arch area which is where the light would normally hit i like to have matte kind of brow bones as well as shimmery so it's just up to you what you kind of want to go for on that day so i'm just applying this it's a really like soft icy lavender shade so it works really well with the pinks then i'm using that same shade say i do and i am just blending out any harsh lines between those two shades then I am going in with a shade called Double Date and I'm applying it with a MAC 232 uh, brush. Is it a 232? You know the one, the shade of Classic Brush. And I'm applying it all over the lid. This is a really shimmery, a lilac sort of shade. It's really gorgeous and it works really well with all the other colours on the lid because we're going for a soft, springy, purple sort of makeup look. So just go all over the lid. I'm using the shade 143 again and then I'm just using that same brush I used before just to blend between the outer V shade and the lid shade so that there are no partial lights. Then I'm going to set my eyebrows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Chocolate which is what I always tend to do after I've done my powder on my face as well as my eye shadow. Now I'm using the NYC Liquid Liner. I picked this eyeliner up when I was in uh, Canada and I got some more in New York because apparently it's being discontinued so I picked up like four or five by the way I've already been and come back to New York you guys if you don't follow me on snapchat yeah I already missed it all but a vlog and a haul will be coming up soon so this is just how I do my liquid eyeliner every day I 
skin using 143 Obsessed with this shade. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm using a MAC 212 brush and I am stamping it onto my lower lash line as quite a harsh line to create an eyeliner but not on the inside part of my eye. And then I'm going to be blending it out using the shade Dreamboat again and I'm using a Royal and Langnickel Pro Pencil Blender Brush which is a pencil brush but fluffy. That's just another way to put it. Now I'm using the shade of Forever Young and I'm applying it to my tear duct with a Morphe M431 pencil brush. This is just to brighten up the eyes and this is to contrast with the brow bone shade. This is a more of a kind of a peachy sort of gold shade. Then I'm using Push Up Drama Mascara by, by Maybelline to prep my eyelashes which, wait, which ones am I wearing? Oh yes, Scarlet Huda Beauty ones, which I love. And I'm applying it with a lash applicator from Bourjois. And then for my lower lash line, I'm using Maybelline's Push Up Angel, which is a very long and thin mascara wand, which is great to use for the lower lashes, which is what I have been using quite a bit recently. And that's it, the eyes are done. How cute do they look? So pretty and spring and summery. And now I'm moving on to contouring my face using the Sigma F40 Angled Brush. And I am using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. This is the original contour kit which I bought when it first came out. So I don't know, the original one, medium? I don't know. And I use this to carve out my face because foundation can make your face look very one dimensional. So this is just to give it a bit of shape, a bit of definition. My face is slightly round as well. So that is why I am making it look a little bit more defined and refined. Now I'm using the Laura Mercier uh, Translucent Setting Powder. And as always, I'm carving out my contour just to neaten it all up with a Morphe contour brush. I can't remember the name of the brush. I will list it below for you guys. Then I'm using the Real Technique contour brush just to brush it all off, keep it nice and soft so that it doesn't look too harsh. And then for blush, I am using a limited edition MAC one called Let's Be Friends. And I'm applying it to the backs of my cheeks with a MAC 129 blush brush. I always apply it to the backs of my cheeks as I have a round face. So I do not apply it to the apples of my cheeks, otherwise my face will look more round. And then I am using the Nicole Guerrero kit again, and I'm using the shade 143, and I'm applying it with a Morphe M310 fan brush. This is such a pretty shade, I was so impressed. I know it looks like I apply a lot of highlighter, but I actually don't. I just blend my highlighter a lot, which is what people seem to get confused about, especially when you've got studio lights on you. They're like, Emma girl, do you got too much highlighter on? Like, I care. I will apply as much as I like, as little or as much as I like. It's up to you, obviously, how much inspo you want to take from these looks. But I just generally tend to go in twice and just blend and blend and blend and blend, which is what I'm doing even on my nose. I have the tiniest amount, but it just looks like I'm applying a lot, but I'm not. And then to the cubits bow as well to make your lips lips even look nice and full. But before that, I'm going to tidy up the harsh lines with my blush brush, but no extra product so that everything looks neat. And then I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Tulip. My apologies, I already started doing my lips before I kind of pressed record. It can happen sometimes when you get so sucked into doing a makeup tutorial. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm thinking about doing a glitter cut crease as my next makeup tutorial. Let me know what you guys think. See you later. Bye.